Welcome back to episode 3 of Rush Reds. My name is Kyle, and in today's video, we're going to be going over the map Fallen. Essentially, what this series is, it's me showcasing some of my personal favorite routes on each individual map, along with some other useful information that you guys can use when playing Search and Destroy on this particular map. If you guys have anything you'd like to add to this map in general, you guys can hit up the comment section, or you can send me a personal message, and I can let you guys know in another video and all that sort of stuff. But anyway, um, I hope you guys can enjoy this video, and I would also like to point out that these are my favorite routes and then this is just for informational purposes only and um, if you use them and you like them then that's great we're gonna start off with the spawns here um, you're gonna notice that these spawns are directly um, pretty much in front of each other so if you run straight you're gonna encounter an enemy within the first 10 seconds of the match so you have to be very conscious of where you're running and where you're spawning right here I'm showing you guys the Delta spawn I'm gonna move to the Spetsnaz spawn um, you guys can notice that they are really close so you have to be careful depending on what route you're gonna choose and where you're gonna run next I'm gonna move over to the bombs here you can notice that a B bomb is located by the playground area there's gonna be lots of open opportunities here so be careful when planning. I'd recommend planning at A because there's a lot more. Okay, so this section is called hotspots. A hotspot is where you're going to most likely find a bunch of enemies grouped together. So, for example, if you cannot find the last few remaining enemies, check these few areas or check these areas at the beginning of every round and you're almost guaranteed to find at least one enemy and maybe pick up a few, easy few kills. Now we're going to move into the routes. The first one is going to be a defensive one. Um, on the Spetsnaz side uh, uh, when you initially spawn in. Uh, for this one I decided to choose an assault rifle but it, most of these routes uh, they're interchangeable and they work with uh, both SMGs and assault rifles so I get a glimpse there. I throw a stun or a grenade up in this window right here you're gonna see me do it later on in an example but from here you can either go left or right it's up to you. Now we're gonna move on to an offensive one using the ACR again um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stun this left alleyway. I'm going to run up on top of this area right here. So this gives me an advantage point to the B bomb and A bomb. So I can pretty much uh, know if anybody's planning from each side. you got a good view from uh, a whole different bunch of places. So this is a very good vantage point. Um, here's another defensive one uh, using an SMG this time. With this route in particular, what you're going to do is you're actually going to flank them. Um, you're going to run directly into the back of their spawn and catch them with their pants down. Um, you're going to run in and uh, catch them in this room right here. First, use this truck as cover. I'll look up into this window if anybody's out there sniping or anything, doing whatever. If not, I'll throw a stun, throw a grenade, and I'll run up into this room. Generally, there's somebody here. If not, there may be a few enemies back here. And um, here's going to be the last one, which is uh, an offensive one again using another assault rifle. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to do the opposite of the very first one I showed you. Um, you're going to run up to here where I jumped over the thing. Use this little head glitch, see if anybody's coming out around. If not, you can proceed to the left area of their spawn because that's where you'll find them. So now we're going to move into some actual examples of public lobbies. Um, right here, this is another defensive one. This is with the ACR, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come up to this left side right here. I'm going to use this little postage area and uh, check see if anybody's in the window. If not, I'm going to move up, pick up this kill. I'm going to continue to move up again, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a stun grenade combo up into this room to ensure that it is clear. Um, there is someone up there, so I was able to pick up a kill. And someone else decides to run around the corner, pick up an easy three kills. Here is a nice offensive one. Um, you're going to see I throw the stun, you stun, flash, whatever you want to call it. Uh, throw it up over. Uh, right here, I util utilize C4 and pick up a very easy kill behind this car right here. C4 is an awesome uh, lethal equipment if you want to use it. Here's another offensive one using an assault rifle yet again. Um, most of these routes are interchangeable, like I said, you guys can swap them out, it's all about personal preference with weapons on this map, because I can't really find the more dominant weapon, but right here you're going to see me uh, pick up a very easy kill as this guy comes out here, he has no idea I'm up here, I'm going to go back over to the left side, I'm going to look down towards the end of the map, and yes, sure enough, someone is camping there and picking up an easy kill. So, the next route is going to be a defensive one again, this time I'm going to be using the M4. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to push up left, but this time I'm going to go a little farther over. I'm going to go over to this alleyway right here where a lot of people like to try and flank us. So I'm going to keep shooting at this guy, not really get him within the first take, but I'm going to go back and uh, continue to shoot him and uh, get an easy kill. Okay, so let's do a little recap of Fallen. 
it is a uh, very straightforward map, so if you're going to run straight, you're going to encounter enemies. Also, weapon choice is your own in this map because um, I've, I've been finding that it's all about your personal preference when it comes to weapons on this map in particular. Haven't been finding what really works a lot. But anyway, also check the hotspots like I said uh, earlier on in the video because that will really help you if you guys cannot find the enemies. Also, I like to stick to high ground advantage because it's going to give you um, the opportunity to get easier kills. So if you stick to that, you'll be fine and it should work out great. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, uh, please support it and remember to uh, like the video, favorite the video, whatever you want to do with it. Also, request the next map for the series and I will be sure to do it as quick as possible.